Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Josh Wilson, and I'd like to take this time to welcome you to the spring semester offering of HTM 37700 Resort Management for Purdue University, Fort Wayne. Uh, the perfect purpose of this first video, excuse me, is to just give you a little intro on myself and explain a brief outline of the course uh, throughout this offering. Hopefully this will answer some of the questions that you may have, uh, and if not, I'll give you uh, various resources on how to reach out and get those questions answered. So uh, we'll dive right in a little bit about me. Again, my name is Josh Wilson. I am originally from Orlando, Florida, uh, born and raised. There's not a whole lot of people actually from Orlando, Florida. Most people move there. It's a very transient town but it is also the epicenter of hospitality and tourism in the United States. So I was able to learn a whole lot from living and working uh, in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I come from a Disney family. Both my parents were on opening crew at the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, I spent 10 years with the company myself. You can see my name badges strategically placed in the background back here. Uh, but during that time, during my time with Disney, uh, I managed various resorts, including Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Uh, my last job with the company before I left, uh, you can see in my instructor profile on the web page, I was a little heavier back then, but I was the water park manager for Disney's Typhoon Lagoon, and to this day, it is the best job I have ever had. During my uh, time with Disney, they also offered educational reimbursement, so I attended the Rosen College of Hospitality at the University of Central Florida. I earned a second bachelor's degree and also earned my master's degree in hospitality management. Uh, graduated in 2014, so just coming up on eight years ago. So uh, hopefully my knowledge in the industry is not uh, too dated for everyone. Uh, after my time with Disney, I did move to uh, Cleveland, Ohio. M was the general manager of a Marriott hotel. I spent some time with AAA Travel, and right before the pandemic shut everything down, I made a career pivot into my current role, which is with Amazon. And that is a whole nother discussion for a whole nother class, but uh, have a very, very diverse uh, professional skill set as long along with an academic skill set. So I look forward to sharing uh, knowledge with all of you and also learning from you as well. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, in our first discussion in the course in Module 1, I look forward to hearing a little about all of you. Uh, please feel free to share anything you'd like. Uh, not required that you share everything that I just did uh, about myself, but I wanted to get you to get to know me and what perspective I'm bringing to the table as the course instructor and as a former resort management operator. Just a little bit about the course as we uh, continue the discussion. This is the book for the course, The Business of Resort Management. It is by Peter Murphy. You will need a physical copy or an electronic copy of the book. All of our homework, nearly all of our homework assignments, case studies, and chapter readings are going to come from the book, so you will need a copy of the book. The course is going to follow a very similar cadence to other college courses. There will be a module, module 1 through 14. The first module will open up Monday, the 10th of January, and every module will close the following Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So for module 1, that will be January 16th at 11.59 p.m. Again, I want to mention that every module will follow that cadence of opening and then closing, opening on the Monday and then closing the following Sunday at 11.59. Uh, so if you have any travel plans, any work plans, or anything like that, you all can plan your time accordingly around that schedule. If that schedule has an interruption or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll go into how to do that here in just a moment. Each module will consist of a video component such as this one. There will be mo uh, module notes via PowerPoint so you can access those and save those should you need them. A couple of the modules will have article readings, things of that nature. Every module will have a homework assignment, which will be the questions at the end of each chapter. Please make sure that we are following academic format when answering those questions. Uh, I'm not requiring any citations or a number of citations when answering those questions. However, if you are using somebody else's work or verbiage, please make sure to give them credit. 
There will be a discussion component in every module. A lot of them will come from the case studies, but some of them will be asking for your personal experience or opinion. So please post your response to those discussions and then also respond to two of your classmates. I am all for open dialogue and debate in an academic setting. Uh, please make sure that we are being respectful and responsible when uh, responding to each other. I have no problem if you want to take a contrary or a different point of view from somebody. Just make sure that we're not doing that in an attacking manner and that we are uh, being polite and professional when opening up discussions and dialogue. There will also be a quiz at the end of each module. Uh, it is a timed quiz, 10 minutes, and these quizzes are designed to not trick you or anything like that. They are designed, however, just to make sure that we are doing the readings and I've taken the questions directly from the book. You will notice that there are more modules than there are chapters in the book. Towards the end of the course, after we complete all of the chapters in the book, we'll deep dive a little bit further into the structure of resort management, some of the positions and departments that are available, and then also various types of resorts. I have some really uh, cool case studies for you all to do of resorts around the world. I'd like you to take a look at and give your opinion. Uh, let's talk about the midterm and the final really quick. The midterm exam will be a written exam, so uh, be prepared to do some uh, academic college level writing on the midterm. I will give you the dates at the bottom of the syllabus when the midterm will open and when it needs to be completed. Uh, it will be timed, however, I will give you a full week to have that midterm exam opened up so that way you can do it in a nice quiet place and not have to worry about to rush or anything like that. The final for this course will be a paper slash project. I will give you more information about that uh, more towards the middle of the, the course, but just know that the uh, final is not going to be a multiple choice exam or anything like that. You all be, will be working on an individual project. Sorry, no group projects this time around. Everything will be individual, and I will give you the rubric and the uh, grading requirements for that project at a later date. I uh, would like to take the time to refer to everybody over to the syllabus right now to, uh, to answer any questions that you may have about the course. Uh, the biggest thing I want you to uh, see on the syllabus is the calendar located at the bottom of the syllabus. It gives you each date and times that the modules will open and when they will close and also uh, what we will be doing in those modules. I am teaching this class virtually, so I do not have posted office hours on campus at Purdue University. However, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, preferred contact type is email, and I will respond to every email within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, if we need to set up a separate phone or Zoom call or anything like that, I will be more than happy to do so. And again, it's not uh, any, any bother or anything like that. We will just find a time that works for, for you and that uh, I can speak with you and I will give you the link for the Zoom call or a phone number where we can have a phone conversation. But email is going to be the preferred method for that initial uh, point of contact and then we will go from there. So uh, also along in the syllabus, please read over the point system for the course, uh, academic dishonesty, course etiquette, all of those things. Uh, these are all taken from uh, Purdue standard uh, practices, so there shouldn't be, if you've taken any classes at Purdue University Fort Wayne, shouldn't be anything new on there that we shouldn't uh, understand or anything like that. But again, want to stress, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, send me a quick email, and I will make sure to respond to you within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, I do say 48 hours just because I do have some travel planned uh, this semester, barring anything major with the uh, pandemic breakout. So there may be some times where a uh, response may fit into that 24 or 48 hours. Uh, however, if you have something urgent, just please mark your email as urgent, and I'll respond to you as fast as I can. But I do ask everyone to please save the uh, urgent email button for something that is uh, extremely urgent. Other than that, I want to take the time to uh, say thank you for, for listening to me. And uh, again, I look forward to meeting you all. And just to give a, a quick recap of the video, every module will open uh, on the Monday at 8 a.m. that they start. So module one will be open on the 16th, uh, excuse me, the 10th, January 10th 
at 8 a.m. and will close the following Sunday at 11.59. So Module 1 will be January 10th, 8 a.m., and it will end January 16th at 11.59 p.m. Please make sure to watch videos, open any lecture notes or articles, participate in the discussions, complete the homework questions, and take the online quiz. Uh, midterm and final information will be released later in the course. And if you have any problems, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to reach out to me. I hope we have a great semester. I hope all of you stay safe, uh, learn a lot, and I look forward to working with you all. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.